Hey y'all, happy Monday. I hope your week is off to a great start. Um, anyway, I saw the cutest little wood sign somebody posted in a group that I'm in. And um, this wood sign had the word family in the background. And it had, had this phrase, where life begins <clears throat> and love never ends. Um, that was on, here I'll show you what I'm talking about. It was on top of the word family like that, only it was in front. Like that, but you see the shadow layer on my phrase? The shadow layer was welded into the word family. Um, and anyway, that whole little design was placed on a wood sign. So what I'm doing, I'm setting up to do a file for a similar, similar wood sign I'm setting up to do it here <clears throat> what I've done is um, created my shadow layer phrase um, in an outside program now you guys know you know I've used shortcuts a lot I normally use shortcuts a lot in my rhinestone videos I have used Inkscape in one of those videos um, I've never done a video showing me using um, Corel draw with the TRW design wizard uh, mostly because TRW, the Rhinestone World, has so many videos on how to use that software with their, um, the CorelDRAW software with their software, which is a macro to the CorelDRAW program. Anyway, I did my shadow layer phrase in using CorelDRAW with the TRW Design Wizard. Um, you can do it. Uh, in shortcuts a lot you can do it in Inkscape um, I didn't really want to show that step here uh, I think I'm pretty sure in one or two of my rhinestone videos I have used the shadow layer function in shortcuts a lot I don't think I did it when I did an Inkscape video but anyway um, wherever you can create your shadow layer phrase you would go and do that and you would import it into um, Cricut Design Space. So I've already brought my shadow layer image in. Um, the background is going to be this word family and this image <coughs> is available in Access, in Cricut Design Space Access. Um, so I thought it was really cute and I want it to be my background. Um, I am going to create my own little template back here so that I can see um, kind of what it's going to look like on a wood sign. So let me set that up. I am going to grab a square. And hopefully this doesn't take forever. Okay. And you know what? Why don't I move you out of the way while I'm trying to do this? I think it's so crowded on here. Maybe I should zoom it out. What's going on, man? Zoom out. Okay. You move over here. Out of my way. Move it down. That move at the same time. Anyway. Here's my little square, and I want to, I'll size it in a minute, um, change it from a cut layer to a print layer in patterns. But before I do that, I'm going to upload a wood grain pattern. I really am going to upload a wood grain pattern as soon as the computer catches up to me. Okay, it's cranky. It's cranky, y'all. I haven't finished my coffee and it hasn't had any, so. There we go. Why do I feel like I've added this pattern before? Well, not this one. See this one I found? It's a pretty dark timber. I like that. So 
dark timber wood grain is what I call that. I'm going to upload it as my pattern. Okay. Where do my patterns go? Images, filter. Oh, you know what? I bet you. Okay, let me get a upload. I've done this before, but it has been a while, so forgive me. I'm going to go back to my project now. Okay, hang on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is now a print image. I want to check out patterns. <coughs> I think I previously selected brown in another search, so it still has that filter on. Come on, dude. I'm tired of that. Uploaded. I don't know what. All right, and so uh, now that I have my little template that I'm going to use as background, I think I'm going to make it. Mm, let's make it 12 inches wide, and it, it all depends on. Um, let's try 12 by 10. Is that looks like? It really doesn't matter because I'm just doing it. I'm setting up the idea here. You can size the project depending on your preference later. And it is. 12 inches wide by 9 inches tall. That's odd. Eh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that for purposes of this video. I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment. And I am actually going to move back in the way. Send it to the back. Okay. And so. Family. Huh. That's interesting. It came down that size. I'm gonna unlock this. Actually, I'll lock that. And you know what? Before I even do this, because I'm not just trying to size it for that. Um, I'm sorry, this computer is so slow this morning. Maybe there's some stuff I need to. Now I've got. I've got some files running in Corel Draw. I bet that's what. That plus filming. It's not liking me doing all of that. Okay. Let me blow this back up so I can see. Oh, oh, too much. Okay. Let's start with family. And just for the sake of creating the image that I want because once I create the image that I want um, the size can be adjusted what is the deal I want you over here and 
walk in. Stretch a bit. See what that looks like. Uh, you know, not actually. Well, I would kind of like that, except uh, this whole shadow layer should be completely covered by um, the family graphic in the background. So let me adjust this. And you, you're just going to play around with it to get it to your liking. I think I want to do it like that y'all look it looks like the Y in family is giving the middle finger <laughs> um I don't know how much I can fix that though yeah it would have to be something like that otherwise I totally get middle finger vibe from it so I think it kind of looks the way like the way that looks might move it down a tad. Choose the tad. Maybe a little bit more. Hmm. I just don't want that middle finger effect. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so <clears throat> now that I have the phrase with its shadow layer positioned where I want it over the word family, um, I'm going to hide family for the moment. I'm going to ungroup my um, phrase and its shadow layer. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. And actually, I need to bring family back. That's not what I need to hide. Okay, but in my phrase, I need to hide the phrase. So this part. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I need to hide the phrase. And then select the shadow layer. Pull the control key, select family, and I'm going to take those two images and weld them together. Okay. Now I'm going to bring back my phrase. which probably has gone to the back now. Move it to the front. There, okay. So, that would be cute even in itself. But now what I want to do is select my phrase, my background, control, you know, hit the, hold the control and select the uh, family background. And then, slice. Okay, and then the way I want to set this up, I wouldn't need this anymore. I wouldn't need that anymore. Okay, and where did my, there you are. Okay. So I kind of like the green. I was going to make that white, but 
So now I want this image to fit nicely on um, my project surface, whatever I'm going to use. I'm planning to use a wood sign, hopefully in this pretty dark wood grain, but we'll see what happens after I stain it. Distorted, but I don't know if that's because I shrunk the screen. Yeah, all that center. I don't like that. I like it like right there. And I'm going to make it white because that's probably what I will do. Green is pretty too, though. There we go. I think that's actually pretty cool. I can't wait to try this. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually cut and paint it until the weekend. Um, I don't think. I might have to make the time to do it. Also, I see where I would have to go in and fix my shadow layer because see these little nicks in what will be the vinyl layer and I guess if you're going to paint it you could just cover these little nicks up with um, masking tape but you see right here between the E and the G and the, yeah down here between the E and the G and up just above this E um, I don't like those little nicks otherwise I really like that I really like this uh, little family background and again that is available in um, Cricut Access. Anyway, have a great week, y'all. Bye-bye.